Hello YouTube, we're going to tell you how to how to fix your lifter tick on your NA Miata. Um, first, you're going to have to take your cams off and you're going to pull all the, your lifter buckets out and we advise get a magnet on a stick. It's going to be very helpful because then you can just pop them all out. Um, Greg Peters from Car Passion Channel says that you should keep track of which buckets go in which slots uh, in your engine's head. but we're not really taking that advice today, but you probably should. Um, anyways, so once you have them out, here's how you're going to take them apart. So you got your bucket. On the bottom of it, there's this little thing sticking out. You just grab it with some pliers. You just give them a firm pull, and then it'll pop right out. Then once you have this piece, this will be taken apart, and it'll come down into these components. We've got this piece that looks sort of like a stubby bullet with the sloped top here. You got your spring, and then you got this small cylinder with a little nipple on the end. Now, we're going to show you how we assembled it incorrectly before. So if you take this piece covered in oil, put your spring inside the cylinder where it looks like it goes, and then shove it in the bullet, then the nipple sticks out the bottom of the bullet and that's wrong that's wrong you don't want to do that or you're going to start your car and you're going to have zero compression um, i'll put a picture on the screen that a nice redditor sent me um, the other day okay this piece in particular the little small cylinder with the nipple it actually comes apart into a couple more pieces so you pull the nipple right off and you'll see a little ball inside of it um, and there should be a small spring right inside the cap of the nipple. You can kind of, it's right there. Um, so in case you end up taking that apart, that's how that's supposed to look. Okay, so now we're gonna show you the correct way to assemble this. So you're gonna take the cylinder with the nipple, you're gonna take the spring, and you're gonna put it around the nipple, like a little jewelry. Then we're gonna dunk this cylinder in oil, so it's lubed up, and we're gonna shove we're shoving the nipple cylinder into the bullet. And you can see the nipple is not pointing out the bottom of the bullet because it's pointing up to the top of the bullet. And you can push on it and you can squeeze it and it compresses. Okay, so now to assemble the rest of it, let me explain how it's gonna go. We're gonna take this piece so that the head of the bullet is gonna face up out of the bucket. We're gonna fill the bucket with oil and then we're gonna put the bullet into the bucket, again facing up so that it looks like this one here. Then we're going to want to squeeze it down, but you have to be careful because on the bucket there's this breather hole on the side. Uh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Breather hole. So if you squeeze it down, then you're going to let air in. So what we're going to do is once this is in here, we're gonna dunk it in here, we're gonna submerge it, and then squeeze it shut. All right, so here we go. So we're filling the bucket, we're putting the bullet in so that the bullet is facing up, facing out. It's gonna be hard to see. And then we're squeezing it tight so that the bullet goes all the way in. Let's have a look. Beautiful, wonderful. All right, and then we're done. Now we have clean oil, and we shouldn't have a lifter tick anymore, and because, because the nipple is facing the correct direction, we shouldn't have to worry about no compression anymore. We're gonna fix our no compression issue. We've got all these other ones to do still. Um, so there you have it. Leave comments below. <laughs>